Philippines, as a developing country, faces many infrastructure problems. There are challenges such as existence of road cracks due to the Taal volcano threatened to erupt. Appearance of fissures in road after heavy rain. And pothole in a road surface which is usually the result of water and the underlying soil structure and traffic passing over the affected area. Furthermore, underground water pipe explosion pipe installation, clogged sewage line, absence of markings for utility or scenarios that can be avoided if there are awareness in the presence of utilities underneath the ground through subsurface imaging. Another opportunity for subsurface imaging technology in the Philippines is the Build 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 program launched by the Duterte administration in 2017 where it is the most valiant infrastructure development program in the Philippine history as it aims to invest from 8 to 9 trillion pesos across nearly 5,000 projects in 4 years. As it creates infrastructure projects such as roads, bridges, railroads, airports, and seaports, subsurface imaging can be a great help in soil investigation in building up those establishments. To solve the challenges in construction and infrastructures, subsurface imaging technology can be utilized as it determines the object buried below the surface of a medium such as soil, water, atmosphere, or tissue. This can be applied to certain areas such as in underground structures, geophysical features, trench lines, and others. It basically transmits and receives radio frequency pulses throughout the land surveyed area and record the changes in electrical properties of underneath, enabling the resistivity imaging of the subsurface. 2D and 3D resistivity mapping is increasingly useful in complex areas for many environmental and engineering problems. It works by placing the electrodes in contact with the ground and make measurements with different spacings at different locations. To make this technology be practically applied in our country, the De La Salle University Center for Engineering and Sustainable Development Research and Intelligent Systems Laboratory, in partnership with DOSC Bichard, introduces the Project Cruise. A capacitive resistivity underground imaging survey equipment for underground utility assessment of Philippine infrastructures. The CRIS device utilizes the concept of capacitive resistivity imaging using a towed antenna array that measures electrical properties in contact with the ground. The measurements gathered by the CRIS device will be converted into two dimensional or three dimensional survey maps using a portable control console. Cruise is a non-invasive equipment that ensures the safety of the working engineer as he or she acquires mapping information necessary for the development of a newly improved infrastructures toward an industrially competent and technologically advanced Philippines.